had to take that moment of silence because I'm down in the fish room, I'm in front of my tank, I just lost power and this really sucks. I just, my heart goes out to these animals that I take care of, right? My 180 here, my steam brake tank behind me, tank over there, my pond, all these different tanks I have in the fish room and when I lose a fish, it sucks. I love these animals, I love taking care of them, I love watching them grow, I love feeding them, I love learning about them, I love being creative, but man, I just, you know, sucks. I mean, you can see, I, got, I put it in a bag, I'm gonna bury it in the backyard, do something nice with the fish, but it, it just really sucks that I lost powder. So, those that don't know um, out there, stingrays are a very sensitive species. And any fish can be very sensitive, but stingrays especially are a very, very sensitive species. So what that means is that, you know, they can be sensitive to food, change in their environment, a certain quality of food. At one point, I got frozen shrimp to feed powder and it wasn't eating it, so I get fresh shrimp, not frozen. Um, means I did thaw it out, but get fresh shrimp and kind of feed powder that way. Um, and you can see that I have ray there and diamonds on this side. So I do have steam rays. I, I'm also familiar with the care. And not just that, the amount of ammonia that we do. So that means with steam rays, even though you have a tank, which is a 75, and I'm running two big filters down below, they produce a lot of ammonia. So I'm doing wire changes three times a week. So I'm doing wire change uh, on Tuesday, I'm doing one on Thursday and at least one up, probably a Saturday as well, about 25 to 30 percent of water. So I drain about you know, a good percentage of water in the tank itself. And I go to bed, I count on my fish, I wake up, I count on my fish. But in this case, after the water test, everything else, it just passed away. For the first couple of weeks, at least the first two weeks, you know, power was eating really well, uh, I was getting to the food. But I think what happened is two things that are very indicative of, of this you know, hobby we're in. You know, I love the fish, I love taking care of them. I did have some fish to move around and I was waiting for my other tank, which is behind here, to be set up, but it wasn't set up yet. Um, I think too many fish were actually in this tank itself and he got scared and nervous and was too afraid to actually get to the food itself. So that make it really hard for him to eat. He, food comes in and Ray and Diamond are just kind of going at the food that was blood worms, that was uh, shrimp, it was pellets too. So I gave it a variety of food because one thing about fish and steamers especially is that sometimes certain food they don't like. So you may have a steamer that loves blood worms, you get a different one that loves something completely different. So you always gotta be mindful of where other food you do feed your fish, especially stingrays. And I, I, I lost them. I think I made a rookie mistake as a hobbyist. Too many fish in this particular tank. Um, you know, I had uh, Jack Dempsey, which Jack is in here, is right here. I have a peacock bass. I also had um, a tiger osprey in his tank. I had three steam rays, a ray diamond, and also including powder. I think I just had too many fish in that tank, and that probably was a rookie mistake on my part, but not a mistake. I didn't know that was going to happen. I was mindful of uh, making sure I have other tanks ready to go. So it wasn't like they're gonna be in this forever home. Again, there's a tank behind me, 150 that's getting cycled through to put them in 150 and moving them around. So I already had the stage of where they're gonna go. That was gonna be my stingray tank behind me and have them grow out. But unfortunately, uh, Diamond didn't make it. And um, it could have been when I first got the stingray itself. I live in a colder climate. So one thing that was kind of hard is um, I had it shipped in and it was, I live in a colder climate so it's like 25, 30 degrees when I got you know, powder itself. It was kind of hard getting activated um, into the first video so I didn't do an unboxing video like I would have. Uh, I probably share small clips into this episode itself of my unboxing video but it was hard and he was not that alive. Um, so also one thing, colder climates. If you have a fish you're gonna order online or they're coming in, Maybe wherever you climb it, where you're at. Um, I routinely do my water test. I routinely make sure that the, the fish get a water change, they're being fed properly, enough food, so they're not fighting over the food. I don't leave any food inside the tank, and... <sighs> powder didn't make it. So that's, that's what I gotta say, powder didn't make it, and this sucks as a, as a day, so... Um, I don't know what I'm going to do next. I'm definitely going to wait probably until 
warmer climate comes, I order more stingrays. I, I love them, they're super friendly again. Um, I just don't know what to do. This really, really just sucks that I lost the stingray. I hate losing fish, for one, but I hate to lose, you know, diamond here. So, cool stingray, I love the color. And the reason why I named it Powder was there was a movie I saw in the 90s called Powder. It was basically a kid that, you know, had um, a skin deformity, had no eyebrows, had no eyelashes, and his skin was super bright. He was very really sensitive to the light. And it's just we had a unique thing, and, and the reason why I named Powder is because it was a unique character in the movie, Powder itself, that I said, man, it's a new, unique color, this is cool, I like the color, its eyes are different, and I like to support those kind of fish. So, guys out there, give a moment of silence to Powder, as I will again now. And may Powder rest in peace. It's Ron Johnson, the fish enthusiast, mental health coach, and student therapist. And thanks for listening, thanks for subscribing. And this just sucks as a terrible day. Going to the holidays, I lost one of my prized student rays, and terrible day. But thanks for listening, and always be fishy, my friends out there. Yeah.